Hi guys, Tor here just to talk you through how to get the most out of branding our content. Now in order to do this you need to have access to a section of our content on the Coconetic website, so you need a subscription to either the full site, the physical therapy or the massage therapy and you can do that at um, co-kinetic.com forward slash pricing and you can pick a subscription there. This page shows tells you more about the branding the new branding functionality that we've just added again you can get to that co-kinetic.com forward slash branding and that will tell you all about this new brandable content but i am my purpose today is to go and play around with some logos and different color backgrounds and just show you what you can do with it so i have gone i've got two tabs open i have got my account details tab open which i've accessed from here my account details and the branding details tab which is where all the settings are for this um, this branded content and i have a piece of content open i've gone to main menu and brandable content clicked on there and i've just picked a random piece of content so I've, let's go for the hamstring one now all of these ones under here can be branded. Now when you click on here, if you have the branding upgrade, you will get this option, would you like to add your own branding to this piece of content? Yes please, you click on that yes please, and it will render with your details. Now I've deliberately made this look a bit cranky because I want to show you what you can do to kind of tidy that up a bit. One thing I will just mention, particularly on my logo, because I don't have any padding around the edge of it, which most of yours probably will have, um, it's sitting a little bit high up here and it would ordinarily be sitting there but we're just fixing that as we speak. So let me just go back into the account settings and tidy this up a little bit. So what I have is I have a, a co in blue and then the kinetic is actually white, it's a reversed logo as they call it in the marketing or art industry. Um, so what I'm going to go and do is I'm going to put, as you can see it doesn't look very good because the kinetic's disappeared, I'm going to change this background to black. So uh, the hex code for black happens to be 000, it's always six digits and you can see it's gone black there. You can mess around with the colour picker here. If you actually have a colour of your logo and you want to try and find a specific colour, I use a little call, a tool called Drop, which I think was free, and if not it was very cheap, which is specifically for the Mac. But if you go and Google um, Drop, well I Google Drop colour picker, if you just put colour picker in there, you'll see there's all these different options and they're pretty much all free. Most of them you can do online. <clears throat> so what that gives you is a little dropper here, which means that you can go and click that symbol and you can get the hex code for that exact colour or whatever the colour is that you want to, to look at. So in that case, we'll do the green. That's the hex code and that's the code that you want to paste into our site if you want to match that colour. So I've gone for black, straight black. So the PDF icon style, you have a choice of black or white. Well, given I'm on a background of black, I need to change that to white. So let's update that and see what happens. We go back to that piece of content, click yes, please. It will open a new window with that newly branded piece of content in there. Okay, so now you can see clearly that the, the logo is slightly high. As I say, by the time you um, get access to this I'm sure it will be will have centered that out now red con the red text on the back black background I'm finding a little bit difficult to read so something we could try is we could try getting the blue um, as you can see I've got some tints of blue in here but let's go for some one of the lighter ones so I'm going to copy that hex code and paste that back into that uh, footer text color and you can see it's put the blue in there click update and let's see what that does okay so that's quite nice um, I like that I like quite like the contrast between the blue and the white um, but again you could do whatever you want to do I could have white text there if I wanted to let's pull in another logo and see what else we can do just to mess it around a bit and test things out a little bit. Sometimes it does throw you back to this login page, it's a bit of a login tab, but you just have to click that branding details. Um, these are where all your settings are, that's covered in a, in a previous video tutorial. Okay, so let's add a new footer. I'm going to add, sorry, a new logo. Let's add, I don't know, let's add, 
let's add, say, this logo. And we click update. And you'll see that logo there. And now let's just go and have a look and see what that looks like. Okay, so now this is a good example. We have a white background, obviously, behind that logo. It's not transparent. Now, there's a video that I did yesterday on how to clear the background from your logo. So, again, that's on our YouTube channel, and I'll put it in a link below this video. But this is a good example because probably quite a lot of yours are like this. Um, if you have a transparent background, you have to first clear the transparent background, <clears throat> and then you have to save it as a PNG file because PNG format image files are the only ones that can retain a transparent black background. So um, we won't do that with this on this case. Um, it's quite a complicated logo to try and clear the background. We could have a go at it in a minute. But if you wanted to do that, then you could jump on Fiverr and probably pay somebody something like a Fiverr to get them to clear it for you who's well qualified in that rather than you having to do it yourself. It's probably quicker. But just in terms of other things that we can do here, I will probably, I think the better, better thing would be to make this white background for starters. So let's go and do that. The hex code for white is three, six Fs. How many have I got there? One, two, three, six. I just remember that as freezing. Uh, let's update that. Now, because we've got a white background, it doesn't make sense to have a white PDF icon, the little icons. So let's change those to black and let's have a look and see what that does. So you can just go and keep clicking on the same piece of content, which is quite useful. It'll open a new box. Um, so you can just keep experimenting with that. Okay, so that's looking a bit better. Um, what I would probably also do now is take this red color. So let's take the dropper. And there is a dropper in PowerPoint, but it's slightly annoying because you can't always close the PowerPoint uh, slide presentation down at the same time and get to the image behind. Um, but if you wanted to, an easy way of doing it would be to bring your logo into PowerPoint. Um, let me just show you. You can see down here in this shape, format shape panel, it's this format pane here. Whenever you click on any of these little icon palettes, you get a little palette pops up and you've got the same dropper there and you can drop it in there. Now the only problem with this is it doesn't give you the hex code. Um, but I think you can get it somewhere. Hang on a minute. Uh, there we go. So it's under that little slider icon, and then you've got the hex code there. So that's how you would get, if you if you wanted to do it from within PowerPoint, just bring your logo into here, click on one of these dropper colors, click the more. Um, so let's do it again. Click the more colors option, and then <clears throat> use the dropper to get the colour and go to this, this slider tab here which gives you the hex code. So that's a good way of doing it out of PowerPoint, it doesn't involve you having to buy anything else. Um, I'm going to use my little dropper tool, I think it's giving me the red already. So let's go and put that in and I want that as the footer text. Click update <clears throat> and let's have a look and see what that's done. Okay, so that's all right, that's that's quite nice. I probably, possibly would do that in black just to make it a bit clearer, but it's just, it's your call really. Best thing is to have a play around. Um, let's change it to black and just see what happens. That's zero, 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 zero. And yeah, I don't know, you could go either way. It could could be red. Yeah, maybe I quite like the red one. So it's just up to you really to experiment. And also it depends to some extent on the leaflet that you're rebranding. Because some of these leaflets, there's more going on than others. Um, let's pick another one just to give it, just so you can show you. So let's try this one, for example. This is a busier leaflet generally. And it might be nice to have a nice clear white banner down there. Yeah, so that actually that works really well. That's that's really nice. Um, again, you you could put red, I think, down there. 
I would be tempted to put red in that font colour. So it really is just a bit of trial and error to make it look the best it can be, depending on the colours in the article and the colours of your logo. Have a look at that. Yeah, see, I think that looks that looks nice, especially as we already have quite a lot of red that's quite similar in the article itself. Um, that looks very much like you've created that yourself. So that is the how you play around with some of the settings. Let's just do another one um, that's a bit more different, perhaps with a solid colour. Uh, let's try the Pure Sports Medicine logo. So if we update that, that's going to be sitting on a white background at the moment as it currently stands. Okay, so you've got the border around there which is a little bit ugly. Probably what I would do is I would take a dropper of that colour. Oh, this hasn't refreshed. <clears throat> there we go. Um, let's just take that bluey colour copy that and put that in the background I think and then I think I would make the text itself white and probably the icon style white as well so let's see what that does yeah so that's pretty neat you could make that text black as well it really completely depends in fact you could put the icons black so just over to you to try it out, see what works best and, and go from there. Okay, I hope that's been helpful.